Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I'm sharing my final flip through of my Stash Buster Junk Journal for the Dear Julie Julie March Spring Stash Buster Journal Challenge. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm going to get right into it. I only have a few minutes because I am on my lunch break right now. I'm working from home, but I'm going to tell you, I've been working really hard. Um, so I look forward to my little lunch breaks uh, where I can either do crafting or in this case, finish up this journal and share it with you. So um, hopefully you're not too disappointed. It's not too much different from my last update, but nevertheless, here I go. I was trying to think of the different things that I haven't been using uh, because that was Julie's idea when putting this challenge, just kind of pushing us to you, you know, use some of the things we haven't been using. So at the end, um, I went ahead and pulled out some bulb pins and little charms and things. And yeah, I started to paint my nails, but I only did one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I, you'll see some of these little uh, bulb pins throughout. And I've got a charm there, some sequins. Then I put another one down here. This is a little chipboard button and a sequin hanging from that lace there okay and then on the side you're gonna see there's a few it's a little cross there there's like a little tie-dyed button with some sequins there's a lot of buttons and sequins this has a little gem that had a little hole through it so I put that on the bulb pin and this little flower I have a few of these that were gifted to me and they're rubber and that they don't really glue down so great. I mean, with fabric tuck it does okay, but I had the idea of punching a little hole with my little tiny hole punch that I have, and I really like how that came out. So I'm thinking these little flowers, these little rubber flowers that I have, are going to become charms, uh, most of them. And uh, let's see, some other little beads that I had put together. And anything else interesting? A little gem, gemstone heart right here with a beaded ring. <laughs> so a lot of fun little danglies um, there. Okay, the closure, I decided to use this. I really didn't want to go over the middle because it would crush the lace and they would cover most of this. So I found this little elastic trim in my stash i believe i got this a tuesday morning on clearance a while back and there goes my dog probably the ducks sorry about that all right guys give me just a few minutes okay so this just wraps around and like i said it is elastic okay now in here is actually a pocket in front of behind this collage up here and the pot the card is also made out of, of our recycled packaging so you can see, I'm, I put some uh, coffee dye paper so you can journal on here and just kind of did a hodgepodge of things. I'm thinking this still maybe needs a word or something across it. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it like that. And that is tucked in the front pocket for now. Okay. Okay. The inside cover, it has a butterfly wall sticker. Um, stuck back there and that is covering some of the wallpaper oh I, I missed a little bit I don't know if you can see see the little writing right there of the wallpaper uh, the back of the wallpaper so I covered that writing with this butterfly and the butterfly already comes split in half because it's designed to go on a wall and so here's the first half and back here in the back is the other half and of course I have stuff in the pocket so they cover it but you can see the butterfly there Okay, I took this card out of a paper pad that was gifted to me and put that in there because I liked it. This is from a calendar, which was one of the elements we had to have. And actually, I have the card with the elements back here. Let me take it out. I did check everything off as I did it. So the oldest tool I had was my uh, corner rounder. So I definitely used that in a lot of places. The newest tool I had was actually my embossing, uh, my, my Big Shot Plus. Um, and I use that for embossing as well and uh, for die cutting a, a few things in here. Okay. Um, that's a little paper clip that I made out of some wire that you find at the dollar store. I covered the, this part of the, mega, of the calendar with some stickers. These were stickers that I was gifted. Here's some of my stamping butterflies there. Um, this is just a little card made out of a piece of wallpaper. 
And I think Kara Brandon sent me that wallpaper. A sticker here on this little piece of stationery. A sticker there on this blue. Um, this was copy paper. It came marbled in blue like that. Here's some lace. That's another element. Another piece of calendar. And I have a pocket with a fabric pocket with lace. Fabric is another element. These tags were gifted to me. I just added the little tabs at the top. That's a little button. And that's a little applique. And I just glued it on to the front. Oh, and I glued this piece inside the calendar on the other side of the calendar. Okay. Another piece of copy paper that is um, dyed uh, pink. It came like that. I didn't do the dyeing. And it has a little uh, sticker down here. And, of course, lace. Here's some washi. Uh, stationery with some more washi I did the washi was the last thing I kind of splashed throughout the pages that seemed too plain to me here's a piece of book paper here's another piece of fabric with some ruffle gold ruffles and this is a piece of scrapbooking paper from a paper collection and all I did was just leave it in here folded because I just thought it was so pretty by itself piece of stationery oh I didn't put anything here I would have put washi on there but that's okay here, this is another piece of a little paper collection that I was gifted. A little altered um, altered paper clip right here. I like how that came out. So cute. Okay. Lace. More washi. This is a, um, a greeting card that was mailed to us, you know, for donations. It's, it's like for a prayer card. Um, so I went ahead and put that in here. Because I love, you know, both sides. I mean, it's got beautiful pictures here. I love the verse. Okay. Here's uh, some more copy paper that came to, you know, like this to look like eco, eco dye paper. This is the more stenciling that I did. Here's an, one of the bulb pins with the sequins. I think I already showed you that, though. But I love that little heart tie-dye button. This is a double tuck um, with the P, this side of the envelope glued to this music sheet. And I've just got some little cards stuck in here. Here's a little verse that I printed a while back. I actually printed these for my students at school and I still had some of them left, so I did that. On this side, I just tucked this shaker. Um, it's not backed or anything. I, this is one of the shakers I did just uh, using recycled um, packaging. And the sticker from Dollar Tree. Another altered paper clip. I like how that came out. I love this gingham. This is another page from a book. And this is actually a book um, bookmark or tag that I made. Um, was it during a live? I think it was during a live when I was trying out these little, I don't know if you can see those uh, glitter pearls or I forgot what they're called. Martha Stewart dimensional somethings. <laughs> Here's a piece of um, note paper and a die cut using my newest tool there. Some graph paper, lace, washi. This is another piece of copy paper that came with this design and I just folded it over to pockets. And I just tucked a couple of things in here. This was gifted to me. And that was from a paper collection. Some stickers some stenciling. I saw Julie do this, I think yesterday, where she used a butterfly and made it a um, belly band. So this is more like a pocket. I, it actually is open down here too, but it's just so thin. It would have to be something really thin. I didn't think of that. So it's more like a pocket or it could be a belly band for a very thin bookmark. <laughs> but for now, I just have one of these little owls tucked away in here. I didn't do anything to this card. It's just so cute like that. It's a little sticker right there, and this is from a sewing book, this page. On this side, this is one of the other things that I grabbed, I said I, no, I don't use very often, is some vellum. I have some vellum booklets with these sayings that I don't use very often. So I grabbed some that I liked, and I glued them as belly bands and pockets. Here's a belly band, and this is a tag I made out of a recycled packaging. And that's a sticker. Here's another one. This piece of vellum is just tucked in. It could be glued wherever later on. Um, you know, just to start the playlist book. And I haven't decided. I have an idea of what I'm going to do with this book. I was just going to keep it for myself, but I really like how it came out. And I think I have in mind somebody that's going to go to. So um, I love this stenciling here. kind of brings that bit out from the stationery. And then this is another piece of vellum that I actually inked around and I glued here as a pocket. And these are just some die cuts. That was a folder. And that's just some double-sided paper. 
from my newest tool lace on this beautiful graph paper i love those big squares here's another pocket out of a vellum um, saying and this is just a little uh, card uh, index card for for you know filing tab index card tab <laughs> and this is a piece from an atlas that was folded into a pocket here's another piece of packaging turned into a tag and another piece of packaging right there another note paper this is from a teacher planning book I covered the words here with this washi and it's got lace on the side and these you can see the the words here that's a piece of a Varenstein's bear book and the sparkling moments another little vellum saying and then this is just an owl clip with some trim here's another piece of vellum and I like that the color went with this rock here on the page. And then this, I wasn't sure whether I should do anything to the onion skin paper, but I thought it would be a good place to glue uh, another piece of vellum. So I really liked this little saying, and then I tucked in this really long little notepad um, in here, notepad uh, sheet. And this is coloring book. And I just left it alone. I was thinking on these lines, it might be f even fun to kind of journal or, you know, write along these lines. <laughs> Here's another little piece of vellum. Washi, lace, and this is music paper. A little journaling card from a paper collection. Washi, another little note paper, and tiny little washi with pineapples right here. Can you see that? Bring it up. Okay. Here's a piece from a... Uh, book washi a little sticker and lace and another here's the, one of the little bulb pins attach there and this is the middle it is um this was a page from a thomas kincaid book and i did use buttons in the signature ties um that was one of the elements was buttons that i hadn't done yet so i did that last night okay more lace on the side here and here's the other bulb pin stenciling washi washi lace i really love this <laughs> coloring book page and then this one's plain but i did put some washi on here here's another extra butterfly because i want to just hold butterflies on there <laughs> here's a little tiny collage or flower out of um punched doily and a crocheted flower that i got in happy mail some just little journaling cards from a paper collection lace on this teacher planning page washi washi this is the other side of the um note paper here i wanted to do something more with this because i love this i realize this is kind of like onion skin paper and such a pretty page but i i found that or came across it after i had bound the book already otherwise i would have loved to tuck it in and i played with different ways of putting it in here and then i just decided i had folded it like this trying to do something but I, I, I just decided to just leave it in here so it can just be used a little later time. And actually, I had brought, tried to play with the envelope too, and I ended up not doing it. So I'm just going to leave it in here with a couple of little pieces from a paper collection. I love this belly band. I just took some of my punch doilies and I glued them together sideways like this. And I even love the paper behind it. I thought that these colors went well. This is an embossed card. Again, not, nothing else done to it, just an embossed card and another journaling card from the paper collection. And here's the graph paper with some washi and lace and the little rubber flower. Some stenciling. I like how this came out kind of nice and simple with these little flower stencils. And then this is uh, the other side of the copy paper. This I turn into a pocket. It's a flip up, flip down. So you can write in here, and then it says, let all you do be done with love. And I glued it on three sides so it could be a pocket, and I just have that card there, and there's a couple of stickers here, and a little bird clip, paper clip. And on the other side, I have one of these collaged pockets that open like that, and this is just a little card. All I did was glue a sticker with some trim there, and another embossed sheet. Just tucked in there this I decided to make into a belly band so it's glued top and bottom and then I just tucked this other little card 
that I cut with those, you know, fancy scissors. I tucked it in here. <laughs> there it is. Today I'm excited about everything, especially about sharing this with you. <laughs> okay, on the other side is, is just the pocket, and these are just a couple of little pieces tucked in here. This is really neat, neatly textured paper with, like, fuzzy uh, design there. And then a little journaling card. Nothing else done inside the pocket here. Here is the, some graph paper with lace. And on the back, a little washi. This was already like this on the graph paper when I got it. I decided to leave it, but it could easily be erased too. This was plain, so I found this little piece of this card at the front. I had sliced the side so it would fit very easily in this pocket. And I had that piece left, so I thought it went well here instead of using washi. And then the, this is washi. <laughs> on this book page the rest i left alone i actually didn't touch the book page. this is um die cut you uh cut with my newest tool which is the big shot plus some little doily and the sticker and just another little piece there and that's a little uh, sticker i love this lace this was gifted to me this paper with the lace and on this side of the washi this is the other side of the envelope which on this side i glued this pretty paper on it wasn't even here, so I put this piece of washi on this side. Inside the envelope, I just tucked in a photo card. I was going to embellish it, but I ended up not doing it. So it's just a plain photo card in there. And then on the other side of this envelope is one of my favorite things. Oh, no, no, never mind. It's coming up. On the other side is just a belly band. I like how I put these little flowers there and a couple of um, cards. I love the envelope has a little rose there and it's got a stopper down here this is the other side of the stencil page here's the other side of the card this is my favorite part right here here's the i left this because it was just so pretty on its own and same thing with this but i covered because this was like a lot of details and write your name and stuff like that in here so i covered that with all these different elements from a paper pack and stickers and i made this into a pocket and i stuck some more little elements from different paper packs and ephemera collections in there and then the back is one of the newest things i started doing this is only my second one and i believe i came up with this idea but if you've seen others do it let me know it's just basically a multiple belly band and let me show you how it is it is just four strips of scrapbook paper glued at the top next to each other this time i did ink them and that way, what you can do is you can take your little elements, your little cards, and these are cut from diff different paper collections. And then you can just tuck them in whichever way you want. You can go this way. You can go from the, you know, like that. And then you can tuck something else in here this way. You know, you can get creative into how you weave your uh, ephemera and tags in here. And let's see. You know, you can mix them. I had, I think, one this way. And this woven like this. It's coming up the side. Come on. It's just fun playing with this uh, arrangement right here. See? Okay, have that like that. And then this just down here. And then maybe the big one there. Or here. There we go. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you can get uh, really, like I said, really creative in how you tuck these, your elements in here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do, something like that. Then these two just in here. Um, so anyway, I had a lot of fun just weaving stuff through here and arranging it. And as you can see, even now, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just fun kind of weaving things through here. Maybe I'll weave this like this. Hold on. <laughs> I just can't stop playing with it. Okay, there we go, like that. See, and this sticks out like that. Anyway, there, there you go. That's very simple, and it just comes out so cute. Just you know, depending on the pretty strips that you use. And then here's another piece of paper with washi and lace, a sticker, a uh, sticker stenciling, and just a big lace. Um, it's belly band or pocket i mean it's not glued on either side but it's so big that it covers the whole page so it's really like a pocket and i just tucked in a piece of scrapbooking paper in there 
And then on the other side of it, it's just plain. So pretty, I didn't want to cover that up. Washi and a sticker. And this is just, wow, this is the plainest page in the whole book. <laughs> I might add some washi there just to break it up a little bit. A sticker. This is the other side of the calendar. With This is what I glued in here to cover the, um, the squares. And there's the other side, another embossing card or embossed card. Some washi lace stickers washi stickers plain <laughs> uh, stamping and then this is the back of the calendar this is a journaling card that's made into a tuck spot for this one I just covered the numbers with washi but you can still see the lines and a little bit of writing and I just tucked in this key lime pie recipe postcard that I've had in my stash for a while um, just for fun because this whole book is just kind of nice fun hodgepodge of stuff and then this I put to cover the girl there was a girl's face here but I just it was kind of out of place for me so I just covered it with this beautiful lace and this beautiful card and then this is the back which I already really showed you it's just a plain card that I really like that they wouldn't do anything to it and then the back is totally plain so I am going to probably sign this here on the recipe card that has the recipes for this journal. And I didn't use any of the bonus elements, I don't think. Mm, I used something that looked like a postage stamp, but it was really a sticker. I had some playing cards that I took out, but I didn't put them in. So yeah, I didn't do any of the bonus stuff. I just stuck with the requirements. But that is my Stash Buster Junk Journal for Dear Julie Julie's Challenge this month. I had so much fun rushing through making it. <laughs> I really did. I made it in the last couple of days. Um, but it was really, really a lot of fun digging through my stash and seeing what I could incorporate in here that, um, you know, met the requirements. Um, and I think I did come up with some uh, fun and unique ideas. Uh, let me know what was your favorite part. Um, did you find something new for you that you hadn't seen before or that maybe uh, you haven't done in a long time and, and made you think, oh, I need to do that again? <laughs> let me know because that's this book was all about that. It was about really trying to, to do stuff I hadn't done in a while or try to come up with new stuff. And I'm um, going to start to ramble, so I better just cut it off right here and tell you thank you again and have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.